All right, hey, what's up, guys? So today, let's talk about another night vision carrying bag or another bag that you could use for carrying a full setup. Um, just like the previous video, this is just made by a company to encompass the helmet, and it's a little accoutrement. It's not like a full loadout bag. Um, now, with this one, right, this one is not a hard case. So it's not like that semi-rigid one that we talked about in the previous video uh, from Ape Defense. This one is from Audi Gear or OTTE Gear. Um, Audi Gear makes uh, really nice stuff. Like they, they have a lot of cool little like pouches and stuff like that that you could use for organization. Uh, I know I use a few of their like more see-through ones and mesh ones that they have for like organizing equipment inside of my box and stuff like that. And here they came out with a helmet carrier, which is pretty sweet. Um, the pattern for this one is actually kind of cool. Um, it's more of like a, a, an Afghan camo uh, in the sense of that it's poppy and firearms related. It's kind of cool looking. Um, but it has its own little like nifty things about this, this bag. So on the outside or just in general, the bag is soft, so it's not like uh, it can't take super hard impacts, and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't carry like very heavy equipment in it because it's just not it's not a heavy bag or meant for that. But it is made with uh, what feels like more of like 500D uh, Cordura with uh, with a little bit of padding, but you'll have to go to the website and kind of check on the specifics there. But from the outside, it's more of a clamshell style. Um, both sides of the clamshell have their own. Uh, actual handle which is kind of nice so you could rip her open uh, depending on how you set up this the actual zippers and stuff uh, but it isn't meant to be like super fast it's meant to be storage but once again another bag that you could slide into like a drawer system and keep there for like anything that you would need in the sense of like your entire helmet loadout and obviously you can use the bag for other things too but I use it for a helmet like it's meant to be um, on the outside, it, there is a patch panel or small patch panel, like a two by three, uh, which fits my knot nods perfectly. Cause when I travel with this thing and people ask me what's in it, it's, it's labeled. Um, <laughs> um, but, but what you get out of this thing is pretty cool, um, from a U.S. made company. So going through it, uh, the zippers, there's two of them, like I said, it clamshells so you can open her up. The lid or the inside is all high vis, like orange. Uh, very, very easy to see your stuff in here. Um, but there's nothing on the lid. It's pretty slick. It's just padded. It's slightly padded. Now on the inside, there's a main compartment, and then there are little pockets on the side, and there's also Velcro or more of a loop texture on the other side so that you can attach other things or dividers. It does come with dividers. I have no idea where I put them because I don't really use them. They just, they kind of disappeared in my office here. Um, but the dividers are, which is funny because they're orange too, <laughs> but the dividers, uh, if you're going to partition it and use it to carry like multiple sets of night vision or other things like that, you can do quite a bit with this and get away with it. So in here, all I have, or what we'll do is we'll, we'll empty out one of my helmet loadouts. Um, and in here, I have my Team Wendy um, with everything on it except for the night vision and my mount. Um, this will not fit in here with my mount attached to the shroud. Uh, it won't fit in here like this because I also keep another pouch back here, which we'll get to in a second, that also Audi Gear makes, and it came with the pouch and the, the helmet carrier. Now, in this main compartment, they also have this like tie down section. And let me see if I can get that, get this on camera here. But this tie down section here that, that can hold down your helmet, and I guess it would be useful for like somebody that only puts their helmet in here and like wants to tie it down for like security sake um, and like make sure it doesn't slide out or slide around. But most of the time um, my helmet's so full of accoutrement that it holds itself here and it doesn't really go anywhere. So up to you. Um, I've thought about just removing it. Um, it's not easily removed. I'd have to cut it, but it is like a feature I don't use personally, but others may. Now on the bottom here, they also have this panel of Molly. 
right? So it's it's more of like a four by five uh, set of Molly. You could actually put like quite a few things on here. Some people would put pouches or think of it like that, but I think of it as like more of a tie down section. So I could put shock cord through there. Think like a tourniquet holder, one of the ones that go through Molly with two shock cord and, and like a sewn harder piece through, through the middle. You could put one of those in there and actually hold down your night vision and put your night vision underneath your helmet. So if you wanted to use this entire carrier with the mount installed, it would take up enough space that you wouldn't be able to carry this little guy. And you could put your night vision underneath using some shock cord or some rubber bands. So now I'll try and show you guys a, an example of that in a little bit. Um, so uh, in here, in this big cavernous space, there's also, like I said, there's there's a shock cord on one side and then there are pockets on this side. The three little pockets are just like a little shock or, or, or elastic on the top, but they, they carry quite a bit. Um, most of the time I carry just some wipies, right? Some lens wipes that defog and stuff. Make sure they're in here so that I can clean my equipment. I also keep various types of cookies right because uh, as you know it's needed for night shenanigans all right and then and then in here i usually keep this guy right now this guy is something that audio gear makes also it's their night vision pouch right it, it'll it'll retain your night vision it's probably the coolest shaped one that I've ever used. It's not meant to be inside your helmet like some of the other ones, uh, but it's meant to be something that can encapsulate them and it'll fit inside of a backpack with another one on top, with another one on top, because they're thinner. And what you can do with one of these, get, get off me, bro. Um, what you can do with one of these is pretty cool because you can stack them in a backpack and have multiple sets. So if you're one of the guys that travels with a lot of night vision like myself, this may be pretty useful. Um, not to mention that you can stack a bunch of them in here. I think you could fit probably around three of them side by side in here to carry multiple sets of night vision as well. So what's in here is pretty simple. Uh, it comes with three dividers. Uh, I have two of them installed. I have like my 1431s. I have a 6X magnifier from Acton Black, which is pretty dang amazing. A Kiji and a PVS 14 in here with a mount or, or a J arm. And in here, like all of these are able to stay in here really well and have a lot of good padding and kind of protect them a bit. But they also, this, this entire uh, container has Velcro everywhere. So you could put or divide it however you kind of please and set your night vision up how you want. So if you really wanted to take two housings that can articulate and open them both up, you can actually put them in here almost side by side depending on the types of housings and fit quite a bit of night vision in here anyways. So as you can see, like I have an entire surveillance kit for the most part for like surveying things with a Kiji and my 14 and my set of 1431s in here and they they fit snug but they're they fit so it's it's a really cool setup i think this is a great night vision pouch even if you weren't going to buy a helmet carrier this thing is probably worth it because you can stack like i said multiples of these you can even keep them in your safe already ready and you could also label the top with some velcro and some marker or whatever you want to use uh really really cool setup definitely something to check out if uh even if you don't like the whole helmet carrier thing but this is the one from Audi Gear, um, probably my favorite out of, out of most of the ones that I've used because of the shape and the ease of carrying my stuff around. It carries like a briefcase really easy. Um, and then I can slide multiples of them inside my truck vault. Uh, it's really simple to carry an entire setup for like a student in one of these and because it's so small and if you got like a black one or like a gray one or like a blue one or whatever uh something without like firearms on it it could probably fit in in most places and people won't know what it is so it's kind of cool really cool carrier um but 
yeah, if you guys have any questions about the carrier specifically uh, that I can answer, go ahead and, and put them below. If uh, if it's something that's like, well, what kind of Velcro do you use? Well, I, I don't know, man. I don't work for them. <laughs> it's it's actually, it was gifted to me by Don Edwards from Greenline Tactical um, as one of the instructors for the Night Ops Summit. Uh, he gave all the instructors this pattern uh, uh, helmet carrier and it's been it's kind of cool so this was a gift and and i appreciate it but it's also a really cool item that i thought people could get a kick out of and maybe some find a, a reason to have one so hope this helps guys if you uh if you have anything put it below take care